Here's a great tip that you can use to either accent your photos in your scrapbooking projects or to even accent any photos you've got lying around your house. Take a look at this collection of photos and these are some pictures that Logan and I took at a farm and they had these brilliantly colored chickens. They were so pretty. We took lots and lots of pictures but they start to look repetitive so we were looking for a way to add some dimension. If you take a look at this picture in particular you can see that we've got some highlights here in our grass and in the chicken's feathers and also in the white flowers. Now it's just a tiny bit but it adds definitely some accent to it. If you compare a photo side by side where the grass hasn't been done you can see the difference between the two. Now the way that we're going to achieve this is actually with some paint pens and the paint pens are pretty cool because all you have to do is just draw right on your surface. So let's say if we take this picture and Logan you want to hand me the green marker? Sure. Okay. And if you want, you can go ahead and accent this one with some of the white and purple. Okay. And you can accent any part of the picture. It could be someone's expression. It could be just a little highlight or shimmer. Or you could even colorize a black and white photo. And you don't have to do straight lines. You can do any kind of lines. Now, when you start to draw with the pen, you'll see that it has an opaque finish to it. And the pens really do dry opaque. And, then, and it's really neat because they dry with like a souffle effect where they rise right off of the page. And that's what allows us to have this added dimension. And you just continue to add color and highlights wherever you want. And you don't have to do every single blade or every piece. You can kind of move it around, add a little bit in each corner. I do like to do work in sections of two or three at a time. Same with if you were to do anything on the chickens or you could do a little touch of color. And it's easy because you're just drawing with a pen. Now here's a great idea too if you've got a black and white photo that you would like to add some highlights to, just use a glitter pen like this one and just doing the same thing, draw effect wherever you want. It just gives it a nice little boost of shimmer. Now, another great idea for your photos, let your kids get involved, let them take their own pictures, but instead of giving them your expensive camera, get them an affordable children's camera that they can use and have of their own. This is a great little digital camera and it's perfect to capture your photos. If you'd like additional information about today's projects or just want to learn more about paint, paper, and crafts, visit us on the web at www.cutterstv.com. The site also features project sheets, reference guides, and crafting tips.